environment. Hashim al Harba reports now from Socotra. Overlooking a rare dragon's blood tree forest, just one of the island's many attractions, Socotra's growing number of tourists, climbers and trekkers can't hide their excitement. I like the diversity of the nature. I like the really friendly people. Uh, we've been diving and it was also really beautiful. And yeah, we see a lot of things here we don't see on any place else on, on the earth. It's really beautiful here. Socotra's beaches, shimmering turquoise waters, it's a real natural wonderland. But making money and preserving the island's biodiversity was always going to be a tough task. Because of its unique landscape, endemic plant and animal life, and fragile ecosystem, local authorities are trying to avoid mass tourism in Socotra. This is why you're not going to find here beachfront resorts or hotels. Their plan is quite simple and quite challenging at the same time. The island has to remain a place uncorrupted by civilization. The first fear of conservationists was over the threat of a major building program. They're lobbying for strict controls. Uh, many tourists are not even aware about uh, what kind of island they are entering and what kind of behavior they should perform here. Uh, they are not asked to pay any entrance fee. Uh, camping is still somehow allowed anywhere around the island. So it doesn't give them the impression how precious uh, the local biodiversity is. Around two-thirds of the island is now designated as a natural park. Tourists wanting to stay overnight in the area have to make do with a campsite run by villagers and financed under a UN program promoting ecotourism. Yes, we are, we are happy with this campsite because uh, that campsite gives us more income and with this income we can support our community. For centuries, farming and fishing have provided the main income for Socotrans. Now tourism has taken over. And with that change comes fresh concerns over how to protect the island's only real treasure, its pristine wildlife. Hashim al-Barra, Al-Jazeera, Socotra.